Did you know that in the early 90s, two million people jumped online to see if a coffee pot at Cambridge University was full or empty? That doesn't exactly sound like a thrilling stream, but it makes sense if I tell you that this was the world's very first webcam. Objects we use every day often have a fascinating and strange history behind them. From the reason why pencils are yellow, to the man who brought shampoo to the Western world, I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 amazing facts about everyday objects. 25. Can Opener People have been storing food in cans since the early 19th century, but believe it or not, it took another 50 years before anyone invented a device to open them. Before that, You'd have to use a chisel and hammer to slowly slice a circle on top or use a twist key on certain cans. One man who was sick of this meticulous process was Ezra Warner, an inventor from Connecticut. When he patented his can opener concept in 1858, well, it was simple. A sharp blade that pierced through the can and then sawed in a circle. It was used by soldiers in the American Civil War, but the sharp knife was deemed unfit for households, and a safer version was later created. 24. The term t-shirt. The author of The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald, has another claim to fame. He was the first to use the term t-shirt. Well, at least the first to write and publish it. T-shirts had been developed through the 19th century to be worn underneath other clothing. But by the 20th century, they were worn on their own, especially by miners, Navy officers, and industrial workers. The letter T is pretty self-explanatory. Just think about the shape of the shirt when you spread it flat. It's just a, a t-shirt, you know, you got it. 23. Pencil Lifespan Most of us used pencils when we were kids, but think about how often you needed to replace them. Not all that often, unless you lost it. That's because a single pencil contains an enormous amount of graphite. If you drew a continuous line until it ran out, that line would stretch 35 miles. That's long enough to walk from one side of Paris to the other, six times. 22. Braces Orthodontic treatments have come a long way. They were once almost completely metal, which made them extremely uncomfortable. Then, in 1843, a doctor named Edward Maynard made a breakthrough by incorporating elastic, the flexible material attached to wires that would incrementally bring teeth into line, much smoother than before. He's the man millions of teens have to thank for their embarrassing braces being a little more comfortable. 21. Traffic Cone Just like everything else, the traffic cone has a history. And it's not that old. Believe it or not, before these easy-to-place cones existed, the warning systems used were wooden or even concrete barriers, which could cause more accidents than they prevented. Then a street painter working in LA came up with a safer option in the 1940s a rubber cone that was easy to set up and remove. Plus, it wasn't easily knocked over. 20. Hair dryers. How old do you think the hair dryer is, if, if you were to guess? Surprisingly, the first one was created in 1888, before the smoke detector or air conditioning. It began in a French hair salon, where stylist Alexandre Godefroy created the first prototype. This hair dryer wasn't portable, but it worked. His clients had to sit down to use it and have a cap placed on their heads with hot air being pumped through. More than three decades later, a portable one was invented to bring the technology to households. 19. Tea bags. Tea bags might be eternally connected to the British, but the idea actually came from America by complete accident. A man with his own tea distribution business, Thomas Sullivan, was looking for a way to make this operation less expensive. In 1908, he began sending tea leaves in small bags made of silk. To his surprise, instead of taking out the leaves, he learned that his customers had been submerging the entire bag, letting them absorb hot water directly. It had the benefit of making tea brewing easier and reducing the amount of waste. 18. Chewing Gum Chewing gum goes back much further than Hub Bubba. In fact, it's older than almost any other product you've heard of. Around 9,000 years ago, ancient Europeans chewed on birch bark as a medicine. In South America, the Mayans had their own version, named chicle, which had a pleasant odor. It wasn't until the 1840s that modern Europeans caught on to the idea of using resin from spruce trees to create and mass-produce gum. 50 years later, two familiar products hit the shelves, Juicy Fruit and Wrigley Spearmint. 
Rest in peace, Juicy Fruit. They announced the discontinuation of it. 17. Coffee filter. If you're a fan of a cup of filter coffee, then you have Melita Benz to thank. The kind of filters available when she was growing up left small clumps of coffee in the liquid. By the time she had kids of her own, the problem still bugged her, prompting her to find a solution by using blotting paper her son had from school and putting it into a brass pot before cutting a hole through the bottom. Coffee could be put in the paper, and as hot water filtered through, it left no chunks of coffee grounds. She grew her invention into the Melita filter and built a global billion dollar business that still exists today. 16. Contact lenses. In 1888, glasses to correct vision had already been around for at least 600 years. For German physiologist Adolf Fick, glasses were too constraining. He wanted to go a step further by creating a corrective lens that could be put directly into the eye. Starting with early trials on rabbits, he found that thin pieces of glass, shaped like a shell, could be placed on top of the eye and work just like glasses. This was the biggest advancement towards creating the razor-thin contact lenses we have today. 15. There are thousands of ways to tie a necktie. The standard knot used to tie a necktie is called a Windsor knot, but there are many, many more. Just how many? Well, according to the work of one mathematician, 177,000. Most of those don't actually look presentable enough to wear in a job interview, but it's nice to know you have options. 14. Pencils are yellow because of the Chinese royals. The quintessential pencil found in thousands of classrooms around the world is yellow. It's, that's not the natural color of graphite, which is gray, so why was this color chosen? It's all related to the Chinese royal family. 200 years ago, when graphite production was increasing in Siberia, right next to China, pencil companies there wanted to cater to the biggest customers. In China, yellow is associated with royalty, success, and respect, making it the natural color. Since then, companies from all around the world have continued to follow this tradition. 13. A gallon of gas has 31,000 calories. Nutritionists tell us to stay away from excess calories, but they never mention gasoline. Alright, you probably aren't going to drink gasoline, which would pretty quickly send you to the hospital. But hypothetically, if you could, then it would give you a surprising amount of fuel. In just one gallon, there's about 31,000 calories. Technically enough for your body to cycle over 300 miles of the Tour de France. And uh, I believe the kitchen sink at Disney's Beaches and Cream has 27,000 calories. That's not meant to be eaten alone. That's a sharing dessert. 12. The computer mouse was originally a turtle. If you're watching this on a computer, chances are you have a mouse connected. But why do we call it a mouse in the first place? Well, early versions of the device were actually called a different animal. Turtles. Think about it. A hard shell covering its body that generally moves only a few centimeters at a time. It kind of makes sense. By the time the final version was released in 1982 by IBM, it had changed names to a mouse, mainly because of the cord sticking out of its back resembling a tail, but we were so close to having turtle pads instead of mouse pads. Let's bring it back. Hashtag turtles. <laughs> Let's get that trending. 11. Shoes are hidden in British walls. Architects, builders, and restorers working in Britain might run the risk of finding an unexpected object in between the walls. A pair of shoes. Why? It's an old tradition that was meant to ward off bad spirits like ghosts, goblins, or witches. One theory is that since these shoes had molded to the shape of a particular person, then they also held their strong character. Usually these shoes belong to children, but it's still a little unclear exactly why. 10. Sofa beds go back over a hundred years. A sofa bed is the most practical way to offer a space for a guest, and people have been using them since 1899, when the first folding bed was created by Leonard C. Bailey. It saved space and allowed a bed to be multifunctional, which is why the concept exploded in popularity over the next few decades, first being picked up by the army. The design looks simple compared to the beds that spring out of couches now, but it was revolutionary. Bailey was a revolutionary in other ways too, and is credited with setting up America's first African-American owned bank. Nine, the MP on checks. You probably don't use checks often these days or at all, but the next time you do, have a look at the bottom. 
just below or next to the signature line. Often you'll find the letters MP. This stands for microprint, which is an essential security measure to prevent forgery. It works by banks printing tiny patterns or text onto the paper. If a criminal tries to photocopy or scan these checks, then it usually makes these letters blurry. Even with very high quality equipment, replicating these details is extremely difficult. Eight, smoke detectors. Almost every building is fitted with a smoke detector nowadays, but how do they actually work? Now to explain, it helps to know how they were invented back in the 1930s. A Swiss scientist named Walter Jaeger was working on developing a poisonous gas detector. After toiling away with trial and error, Jaeger discovered a different use for his prototype. After learning that cigarette smoke triggered the device, he realized what had happened. It had interrupted the current of the internal circuit. Through Jaeger and other inventors, a way to detect smoke was created. Radioactive particles slowly decaying inside the sensor, generating positive ions and negative ions. Any smoke that enters interrupts this current and triggers the alarm. 7. ATM pins are four digits because of an inventor's wife. The man who created the ATM, John Shepard Barron, originally envisioned using six digits for the pin. But after running it by his wife, he changed his mind. See, his wife Carolyn told him that she could only remember four digits at a time. That came at a cost, making our accounts less secure. By how much? Well, there are 10,000 possible four-digit sequences, while there are one million six-digit ones. Thanks, Caroline. Six, love seats were originally designed to fit women's dresses, not couples. Those sofas or benches that are a little too big for one person are called love seats. And contrary to popular belief, they weren't designed for lovers to sit with each other. The width was designed to accommodate the huge dresses worn by women in the 17th and 18th centuries. That meant instead of draping down to the floor, there was space to fan them out on the seat. Imagine someone telling you this seat's taken when it's being used for a dress. Five, the inventor of the stop sign couldn't drive. William Phelps Eno has been referred to as the father of traffic safety. As cars and roads were being rolled out for the automobile revolution of the late 19th and 20th century, this man was at the center of it all. He developed the ideas of roundabouts, one-way streets, and a host of other regulations to help traffic flow and ease congestion. However, while governments and cities were creating roads using advice from him, he never actually used them. That's because he never actually gained his license. He was awarded an honorary driver's license by a French prefecture in recognition of his work in the country, but I'm not sure it was valid. Four, webcams were invented to watch coffee. There is nothing better than a cup of warm coffee. Except cold brew. I prefer cold brew, but I digress. And next time you turn your webcam on, know that there's a connection to coffee addiction. Allow me to explain. See, back in 1991, which, oh dear God, was 34 years ago, computer scientists at Cambridge University became obsessed with knowing when a fresh pot of coffee would be ready in the common area. And so, being computer scientists, they developed something revolutionary a webcam. They called it Coffee Cam and used it to check when their precious coffee was ready. And it was the first camera connected to a computer using a video capture card. As things do on the internet, it somehow caught on. And at one point, more than 2 million people were tuning in to the Coffee Cam. Three, shampoo came from an Indian traveler. Humans have had natural treatments since ancient times, but modern shampoo was brought to England by an Indian man named Dean Mahomet. He was born into the Nye caste, which is a caste of barbers. Yes, really. Together with his Irish wife, he opened a spa in Brighton and introduced all kinds of products to the British, one of them being shampooing, regularly using herbs and soaps to wash the hair. He became known as the shampoo surgeon and even personally treated two British kings. Two, the first traffic light. Can you imagine the kind of anarchy that would be unleashed on the roads if there were no traffic lights? Well, that was the case before 1914, when the first set was installed in Cleveland, Ohio. This system was proposed by our old friend William Phelps Eno, who we already learned about earlier. Far from the automatic lights we know today, the lights in Cleveland were operated manually and could only change between red and green. An officer would sit inside a booth and watch over an intersection, flipping the switch all day long. One. Garden hose. The garden hose comes from an unlikely source. 
a Dutch painter in the 17th century who along with his engineer brother committed to finding a better way for firemen to put out fires. Up until then, they had to use long leather tubes that weren't very effective in delivering water. The brothers developed a hose made of canvas sailcloth before rubber was found to be a much better material in the 1820s. This rubber hose was far more flexible, lighter, and carried water more fluidly. The humble garden hose took a more than 120 year journey from a pair of Dutchmen to becoming a household product. So what other everyday objects do you wonder about? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. Now, speaking of nothing, did you know that in the Holy Roman Empire, if you didn't cast your vote for the emperor, you were banned from leaving the city and restricted to eating bread and water? Or how about facts from the natural world? Did you know there are traces of cyanide found in apple pips? For all that and dozens more, check out 25 most interesting facts in the world. <laughs> Nailed that segue. Self high five. It's click here. It's here. Damn it. Oh, I didn't nail it. Okay. I have to undo that high five. Damn it. Just click it.